Hey, it's Noah, and welcome to iHollywood TV. Well, despite covering, you know, most of our planet, did you know that 80% of the world's oceans remain unexplored? Ocean X, a leading nonprofit, is changing that with the Ocean Explorer, the most advanced exploration vessel ever built, and the star of the epic six-part Discovery series, Ocean Explorers, premiering August 18th on National Geographic. So joining us to discuss their latest adventures and break Throughs our science program director at Ocean X, Maddie Rodriga, and ocean technology innovator Eric Stackpole. Thank you both so much for being here on iHollywood TV. Nice to have you on. Hi, guys. Hi, thank you so much for having us. Yes, my pleasure. So, first off, Maddie, let's start off with you. Um, what makes the Ocean Explorer such a unique and advanced vessel for ocean exploration and ideal for creating a series like Ocean Explorers? Yeah, absolutely. I'm actually uh, talking to you live from Ocean Explorer right now in Indonesia. Um, the Ocean Explorer is the most uh, advanced research and media platform that's ever been built. We have um, developed technology to allow us to access and study the deepest and most remote corners of our planet in the deep ocean, but also to combine that with a Hollywood caliber um, production and media capability. So we're not just going to these remote places and doing science and making discoveries. Um, we're also telling the story of those discoveries using the media capability on board to really bring science and discovery and exploration back to the world through captivating media. And that combination of science and technology and media really made us the perfect platform for ocean explorers. That's incredible. Exciting stuff. Now, Eric, I want to come to you. Turning to the series, can you tell us more about the Ocean Explorers series and what viewers can expect to see? Because you guys were just recently at the D23 event, the big Disney event. I mean, that was probably fun within itself, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And I'll, I'll tell you, Noah, I mean, after years of production, finally being able to show what we saw to the rest of the world has been amazing. I mean, this was basically all of the best people and uh, uh, equipment you could imagine coming together to to create this. Uh, you know, the executive producer of this show is James Cameron himself, who, as you may know, is a, a very uh, a passionate deep sea explorer uh, himself. Um, we also had BBC Studios involved. They're the ones who made Blue Planet. Um, but, um, you know, now they came and, and filmed this. And uh, we're working with the OceanX team, which uh, Maddie's a part of, um, who's got the best tech. The Ocean Explorer ship is cutting edge. We've got two human-occupied submersibles that can go to over 3,000 feet deep. We've got a deep sea ROV that can go to 20,000 feet, a helicopter on board. And viewers are going to be able to watch all of these things being used as we explore parts of the planet that have never been seen before. And it's all real science. Um, it's all stuff that is going to get published in real academic papers. Uh, they're coming for the, the ride of an actual expedition. Wow. Such fascinating stuff to discuss this morning, you guys. And by the way, Eric, can you talk about your personal experience participating in mm -hmm. these discoveries? Yeah, absolutely. No, I, I uh, you know, I'm a, a techie. Uh, my background is in aerospace. I started out designing satellites at NASA and then turned toward exploring the ocean uh, when I realized that it's right there and it's teeming with life you've never seen and, and you don't even need a rocket ship to get there. Um, you know, what I expected to find was, you know, data, information uh, about the things that we already had on our, on our list of things to explore. Uh, but what really surprised me were the surprises. Uh, we went down on a on a one of our subs um, into the deep abyss. It was so deep that it was pitch black. It was over a thousand feet deep, and we thought we were alone. But it turns out that if you flash your lights in the right way, you can actually get plankton that's bioluminescent to flash back. And um, at one point, we were diving down and we started strobing our lights, and we realized that actually we were surrounded by all these creatures, and we we were, they were there all the time. We just didn't know how to look. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I could talk to you guys probably all day long. We would have such a great conversation here, but we're, you know, limited on time, you guys. But, you know, Maddie, I want to come back to you. What are you up to on the ship these days? Like, you know, do you have any exciting expeditions planned? 
Absolutely. So we're currently on expedition here in Indonesia. We're working with local Indonesian scientists to explore the waters of their own backyard. Most of Indonesia is ocean, and most of, of that ocean is deep ocean, deeper than 200 meters. So uh, we're working with the local scientific teams to understand everything from the tiniest microorganisms, tiny, small fish, all the way up to the largest mammals on the planet, the whales. Um, so it's been a really, really incredible experience so far. Are and and um, yeah, it's, it's I'm very lucky to be out here. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, what are you most excited for, Maddie, for the audience to watch the show that's going to be premiering here? You know, in a few days. What I'm most excited for is, is what I hope um, is something similar that happened to me that inspired me as a as a, a young kid growing up in Arizona, landlocked state. Um, watching something and seeing somebody that's doing um, ocean-related work that they can see themselves in, that they can be inspired by and, and really see themselves in the space. A, a, a little kid, for example, um, and knowing that it's possible um, for them to be working in the space and, and, and studying the ocean and, and understanding our planet. I'm 100% most excited for that. Absolutely, for sure. And, you know, Maddie, where can our audience go for more information? So anybody that wants to learn more about Ocean Explorers or about Ocean X can go to OceanX.org. Nice. We'll have all the information appearing below. By the way, you guys, congratulations on the show. Maddie and Eric, thank you so much for coming on. Y'all take care. Y'all have a great day, and I'll be watching. Thank, thank you very you. much. Did you know for the next six weeks, the Crescent City, New Orleans, is celebrating its food by offering special discounted deals for locals and visitors to patronize nearly 100 of the city's most world-renowned restaurants in all New Orleans neighborhoods. The city's big-name restaurants participating in the special culinary celebration offers lunch and dinners at highly discounted prices. Chef Zoe and Duke Chase, they tell us all about it. Check this out. Hey, good, good morning. morning. Thanks for having us. When you're speaking about the cultures and the traditions of New Orleans, you have to be speaking about our food. We have so many different cuisines here. We're talking about our Creole cuisine, our Cajun cuisine, we're talking about food that touches us. So there's so many different influences that we have. It's a celebration of culture. So when you come and taste a dish here in New Orleans, you're going to find a little bit of your own home in that dish. So it's always an exciting time. Creole food is a fusion of Spanish, French, West African, and Native American cuisine. You know, our Creole food goes beyond just the food itself. It's the love, it's the tradition that makes these dishes absolutely delicious. You know, my great grandmother Leah Chase used to say it makes it takes all different kinds of people to make a great world, just like it takes all different kinds of ingredients to make a delicious bowl of gumbo. The new young chefs of New Orleans are going beyond just the traditional. You know, they're making extraordinary, flavorful dishes. We actually have a new young chef, Chef Serain, who just won a James Beard Award at his restaurant, Dakar Nola. You know, the new young chefs are making a statement, so it's a perfect time to come on down to New Orleans.